So back in the day, people used to uh, make things called pomanders, where they would take an orange and then they would stick whole cloves into the orange and make designs or patterns. And eventually they would end up looking with something that looked a little bit like that. Remind you of anything that's been very familiar to us in the last year? So back in the day, they used to call these pomanders. Ms. Mary is going to start calling these coronaviruses. So we're going to learn how to make a coronavirus right here with a, just a couple of simple ingredients. All you need really is to just orange, some whole cloves, they must be whole cloves, and optional but uh, helpful, uh, a, using a thumbtack, a thumbtack or a toothpick, and a little bit of string if you want to hang it up. So to get started, take a poke. You can poke the, the orange with the whole cloves. They tend to break a little bit more easily when you do that. So it's just a nice thing to have. And if you want to, you can string it up like so and in your house. And if you can smell it, congratulations. You probably don't have the coronavirus, so even better, right? Or you, if you have a crock pot and some Orange, or some apple juice and a cinnamon stick. You can drop one of these in here and uh, let it uh, burble around at, at low for a while and have a delicious holiday drink. Thank you very much for, for tuning in. And we wanted to let you know that during the month of January, we're having something called winter reading for the kids. So if the kids read half an hour a day, then they are eligible to win a $25 gift card from Amazon. So if you want to stop by the library or give us a call, let us know. Uh, we'll be more than happy to give you some more details about that. Happy holidays. Have a great time. And we hope to see you either virtually or in person very soon.